Okay, so these are your mother and your father? This is my grandpa, Jim. Okay, can you tell me their names? This is James Vernon. Okay. And? And Elizabeth Vernon. Okay. And it, it is on his farm that you were born? Yes, yes. A hundred years ago? Right. Yeah. And the farm was near? There's a picture of it in there. Okay, would you show me, please? It's... It's in your pile there. In my pile here? Yeah. Which one would it be here? Let me just give you that pile. Well, you had this picture the other day. This is his family. This is my grandpa here. Okay. And all his brothers and sisters. And... You've lived a long life. <laughs> that makes for a lot of pictures. Well, actually, I've, I've gathered these pictures up. Especially, oh, here's a picture of our wedding picture, and I found that. I'm so glad you show me that you're showing me this because last time we talked. I I didn't have. I just had that one. Here's my graduation picture. I'm finding everything that. That's how it works sometimes, you know. This is kind of interesting. I don't know if you'll want to see it, but a picture of my mother and myself, and my sister thinks that we look alike. I have to agree with your sister. <laughs> which one is which? On, on? Oh. Yeah. That's you. Mother, that's your. Yeah. That's your mother. Yeah. I have to agree that you guys do look alike. How How old did your mother live to be? She was seventy five, I think. So you've outlived her by twenty five yeah. by by quarter century. Right. Here's a picture of her. I'm not sure. Did I have a picture? No, you did not. You did not. I'm so glad that you were able to find that picture as well. Yeah. This is my dad. I think they're pretty nice. I wonder if 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 they if, if they could have imagined that you would live to be a hundred years old. This is my husband's graduation picture. Well, one of his, I suppose, graduation. Oh, for heaven's sake! It just disappeared. You are looking for a picture of the farm. Yeah. Can you is that since you cannot find it right now? Can you just tell me what is your most vivid memory of the farm? It's always plenty of work. There's always work to be done. And we were quite lucky because the man that lived beside or near us brought people over from Denmark. And he had to be sure that, that they had a job when they got here. And so if he couldn't find a job right at the time, he'd call my dad and say, I have so-and-so, and he'd like a job. And if he had his wife, then my mother would have help in the house, too. But we could always, well, we had hire people, so actually we, we didn't work on the farm while we were too young. Uh, we did have three Shetland ponies that we grew, grew up with, and, and they were nice to have. Do you remember their names? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I know they had names, but uh, and we learned to jump on their backs. We could, they were...
kind of frisky sometimes because my dad brought the one home from a fair and he had he had uh, uh, cattle that he took to, to the fairs and when he brought this pony home you'd ride it and they the thing would go close to to the barn door and get your leg or he'd stop short and you'd go up or over the top of it. But it was a good place to live. It was always there was always something to do, something to eat. We raised most of what we ate and then we had things to sell sometimes, like apples or corn. How much your life has changed since, huh? Yes, right. Very much. Well, congratulations again on, on, on turning 100 years old. And um, I, I, just, uh, I just cannot think of a better gift uh, than, than what you've already done is, is, full, is, is lead a full life. Congratulations again.